Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw the mighty eagle from Angry Birds. So I'm going to start by drawing in the edge of the beak, starting from the corner of the mouth. I'm going to start at the bottom and drawing a curve going up. From here, I'm going to draw the curve that goes up along the face, just beside the eye. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve going up to about there. Now from here, I'm going to draw the giant beak that comes out and just hooks around. So from here, I kind of want to draw it quite big. I'm going to go to the edge of my paper here and just draw a curve going up to the top and then coming down. From this point, I'm gonna draw a curve coming down towards the bottom edge of the beak. So from here, I'm gonna draw this quite large. So from here, I'm gonna curve in. You can see that I've drawn sort of a hard turn here. It's not actually a smooth curve. It's actually a hard turn. And then from here, I'm gonna curve back in with another hard turn towards the tip of the beak. From here, I'm gonna work my way backwards. From this point, I'm gonna taper out and draw a curve going up. Okay, so it's almost like a quarter circle. From here, I'm gonna curve all the way back to the corner of the mouth with a curved line. So starting on the inside, curving down towards the corner of the mouth. From here, I'm gonna draw the bottom edge of the beak. So from this corner, I wanna do a curve that comes down and then tucks back up underneath the beak, the upper beak. So curving down. And from here, I wanna stretch this out and draw a curve going out to the bottom edge of the beak. Let's go ahead and draw in the nostril. Up here, I'm just gonna draw a little hook. A curve like this. From here, I wanna round out the tips and just fill it in black. So curving around and rounding that out just like that and then coloring that in black. Now that we have the beak in place, we can figure out how big the body's gonna be. So from this point, I wanna sort of flatten out the top of the head and come around and just swirl around, almost like a, the number six. And I'm gonna come just below the bottom edge of the beak. So I'm gonna draw the body down to about here. So what I'll do is I'll start at the top, curve around the back edge of the head. Now this is gonna come down, it's gonna flatten out at the bottom, almost like a large oval. So coming across, I'm gonna bring this up this way. Now I'm gonna swing around, just underneath the bottom edge of the beak, and just swing it around like that. Okay, so it's like a big number six. From here, I wanna close off the tummy. So from this point, I'm gonna just follow along behind the beak, just draw an angled line like that. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the eyes. So up here, he's got a big furrowed brow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna intersect this line in the body and just draw a curve from the back towards the front. This is just the line that separates the eye from the brow. From here, I'm gonna draw a curve from that corner. I'm gonna step in and just draw a half circle going across like this. And up in the top, just tucked underneath and towards the left, I'll draw a smaller half circle for the pupil. We'll color that in black. And then I'm gonna give him a little bag underneath the eye. So from the same corner, I'm gonna come down even lower and then back up to the top. Up here, I wanna draw some of the bristles on the brow. So what I wanna do is I wanna draw a series of little lines that come out and then come back to that starting point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up here, draw an angled line and then curve with the contour of the brow. And then I'm gonna go back out again. And I'm gonna do this four times, going up, and I'm sort of aiming towards that tip and coming back again. Going up in an angle, aiming towards the tip, just doing a short line, going up again, do an angle, short line, and then come back down to the tip of the eyebrow. And we'll go ahead and color all this in black. So we got the eyebrow, the eye. Let's do some fur details. So up here on the top of the head, he's got some bristles that stick up. Similar to how we did the eyebrow, we're gonna start just on the top of the head here, and we're gonna draw three curves. So one there, we're gonna draw one a little bit longer, and then one over this way, a little short one. At the tops of each of these lines, I'm just gonna draw an angled line going out horizontally. From that tip, I'm gonna curve down to the starting point again. So coming down like this, going back to the second one, curving down, and then the third curving down to that point. We'll go ahead and fill all that in black. Let's do the same thing on the tail. So there's three tail feathers that stick up this way. 
So just around the belly, midsection of the belly, we're going to draw three curves. So right up here, we'll draw one, we'll draw two, we're going to leave a little gap in between as well. We're going to have to make them stuck together. Three, and then here I'm just going to draw three angled lines. And it's not perfectly straight up, it's sort of tilted a little bit. And then again, starting from that end, we'll curve right into the starting point. Here as well. And then the bottom, and we'll go ahead and color all those in black. And then the final detail here, we're going to draw a little bit of fur detail or feather detail along the belly here. So let's start on the back here. I'm going to start with a series of loops. So just doing little curves like this all the way across. And they could be varying size and varying width. So it goes a little bit bigger, goes a little bit smaller. And then at this point, we're going to transition to little hooks. So going up, we'll curve down. And we're going to do a series of these hooks of different size and width. We'll go across with a big one, do a small one here, then one final one, tuck that in underneath the belly line, and that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Mighty Eagle from Angry Birds. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.